guys. So I have a lot to say today and my skin looks weird. I don't like it. Um, anyway, so I was looking up like, well, I Google searched, why is it, why is it tough to breathe after you quit smoking? Well, I came across this site and I can't, I can't flip my camera around on this one, but it's from neednicotine.com and I'm actually going to, um, I'll post it below in the comments. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but I had noticed that I have been yawning a lot since I quit smoking. A whole lot. See? And my, like it feels like I can't get enough air, right? Well, this I guess is normal. It's normal because, and what it says is, it's your body adapting to now having more oxygen. Your airways will be less irritated and your lungs tr lungs trying to expel some of the toxins that accumulated over the years. It is even a sign of relief for your heart that has to work less harder to distribute oxygenated blood. Pretty interesting. Um, most people, it's not clear, well, it's not clearly understood but most people, or several people, um, experience unusual bouts of yawning. See? And then the shortness of breath that I've been experiencing, it's not, I'm not breathing out of the ordinary. My breathing's not labored. Um, I just feel like I'm not getting enough. And so if I do some breathing exercises or whatever, it seems to help. But it does state... Another common complaint is being short of breath for no reason and with and with no activity. You do not feel difficulty breathing. You are not panting for breath. Instead, you feel like you suddenly need more air, although you are breathing at a normal rate and depth. So once again, this may be related to blood oxygen levels and disturbances in your breathing pattern that had been accustomed to years of hypopoxia which is um, not getting enough oxygen when you're a, smoke, a smoker. Um, it's not a serious symptom unless you have labored breathing. So show signs of low oxygenation in the blood like paleness or even a blue tinge to your skin or there is dizziness. So I'm doing a lot of research on this breathing stuff because um, when Wim Hof is somebody who does a lot of um, like deep breathing techniques, well, it's not even deep, it's like, <sighs> And you're breathing through your belly and you're apparently like reoxygenating your entire body um, and you can go like up to two minutes or longer without taking a breath after like I'm gonna link a video underneath of this video because some of his I think some of his breathing techniques are probably really healthy for some of us previous smokers um, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to do a quick take on this because fuck, we're trying to quit smoking and there's a lot of shit that goes wrong. And I really want a cigarette today, by the way, like I've craved a lot. Um, and I think it is some of the final stages of my withdrawals, maybe, fingers crossed, I hope. Um, I've noticed it's been like every other day that I've been craving. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to talk about shortness of breath, when you quit smoking, um, yawning when you quit smoking, anything that um, feels unusual. Okay, so I just wanted to touch on that really quick. This is going to be all by itself. So do me a favor, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you know somebody who's trying to quit smoking, please share my playlist with them. Um, I post every day about the symptoms, withdrawal symptoms of cigarettes, and I will probably do so for a very long time, um, if not forever to remind myself how I really don't want to be a smoker, especially after going through all this shit. Um, so if there's somebody out there that you know that needs this, please send them my way. Again, subscribe, like my video, comment below if there's a topic you want me to talk about. Um, and thank you again for watching guys.